Hello there and welcome to the series of videos looking at covering the first year of A-level maths. Here we're working on exercise 4G, transforming functions. So here we're going to be looking at how we transform functions using graph transformations. So in this case here, f of x is this graph that we have here. Points A and B lie on the curve. Sketch the graph of f of x plus 1. Now hopefully you've watched the two videos before that look at translating graphs and stretching graphs. In this case here, inside the brackets represent horizontal movement and generally it's always the opposite to how you'd expect it to be. If you see a plus one inside a bracket uh, and you know it's horizontal movement, you think well plus one in the positive direction. In fact, inside the brackets is opposite land. In fact what we're going to do is move it left by one. So all of these coordinates here, first plot them and then sketch your graph through it. So what we'll have here is an intersection at 0, 0 which will move to minus 1, 0. Uh, 1, 4 will move to 0, 4 and 3, 1 will move to 2, 1. Okay, so use these coordinates as like a guide for where you need your graph to be. Okay, this time very similar transformation here inside the bracket, so horizontal movement. Minus 1 would probably move it left by 1, wrong. Inside the brackets is opposite land, move it right by 1 instead. The reason is, is because the x-coordinates now need to be 1 bigger to get back to our original y-coordinate calculation. So in this case here we're moving it right by 1, so use your coordinates as a guide and make sure you plot them if they are given to you. Okay, the next coordinate we're going to work with is f of x minus 4, but the minus 4 this time is outside the brackets. So outside the brackets is going to represent vertical transformations or vertical stretches as well. Uh, in this case here Outside the brackets is acting as normal. What we're doing is working out the y coordinate first and then just subtracting 4 from it. So all of these coordinates here are going to need to be decreased by 1. Now use your coordinates to give yourself a guide as well. Make sure that you show these to the examiner so you know what you're doing. Okay, another graph transformation here is sketch the graph of 2y equals f of x. In this case here the first thing I'd do definitely is just divide through by 2 so I've got y equals half f of x. Now with the multiplication here that's the clue that it's going to be a scale factor enlargement in one of the directions and in the previous slide we saw that anything outside the brackets affects vertical positioning. So what's going to happen here is the y, y coordinate is going to be calculated but then the new y coordinate is going to have to be halved. So what we have here is effectively a shrinkage of our graph down towards the x-axis. Uh, all of the coordinates are going to have to be multiplied by a half. So use your coordinates as a guide. Make sure it's definitely visibly flatter your graph. And record the coordinates so the examiner can see what you're doing. Right, okay, so this is the next question. It's your turn to have a go. Pause the video and see how you'd get on. Right, well done for having a go at this question. So part, uh, part B of this uh, question one here is to look at the graph transformation of f of x minus 4. Now in this case here, outside the brackets means a vertical transformation. It's a minus 4, so we're just going to translate it down by 4. Now let's use the coordinates to help us. The 2 is now going to move down to minus 2. The 1 is now going to move down to 1, negative 4. The, the 4, 4 coordinate is now going to move down to 4, 0. And the 6 coordinate here is now going to move down to 6, minus 4. And now we can sketch our graph through those coordinates there. So use them as a guide to help shape your graph. 
There's nothing worse than drawing your graph first and then trying to fudge the coordinates on and it not looking quite right. Right, to the next graph, we have a transformation inside the brackets this time, and inside the brackets affects horizontal transformations. Inside the brackets is also opposite land, so where we think we might stretch it out by a factor of two, the reverse is actually the case. We're going to, in fact, squish it inwards by a factor of two, and the reason being is that the x-coordinates now only need to be half as big as they were previously to get the same corresponding y-coordinate. So the minus the two coordinate up here is not going to change. We're stretching inwards by a factor of two at the y-axis. So if it's already on the y-axis, no movements required for that two. The one is now going to be squished into 0 0.5. The 4, 4 is now going to be squished inwards to a 2, 4 position. And the 6 here is going to be squished inwards to a 3, 0 position. Okay, and now let's sketch the graph through these coordinates, and it looks something like that. Okay, that was D, H. Now, I've, mi I've missed out a few. I'm just going to concentrate on the important ones for you. H here is a reflection because it's got a negative symbol in there. And it's inside the brackets, and that affects uh, vert horizontal movement. Now, inside the brackets, remember, is also opposite land. But the opposite of a reflection moving from left to right or right to left is moving left to right and right to left. So it doesn't really matter about it being opposite lands for reflection. So what we're going to have here is use your coordinates as a guide. This one's going to be minus 1 now. This one's going to be minus 4, 4. This one here is now going to be minus 6. Uh, the 2 is going to stay exactly where it is, because if we're reflecting left to right and right to left, then it doesn't move. And our graph is going to look something like this. OK, right. Make sure you have lots of uh, practice on exercise 4G and you've mastered graph transformations. It's going to come up a lot when we move into differentiation and calculating turning points and other sorts of maths along the way in our A-level. Right. Thanks very much for watching.